Hi everyone, welcome back to my another video. Today I am going to show in this video how to reset and set up your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. So before going to start the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. So let's start the video. Guys, if you want to reset your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender, then I will show you how to do this. As you can see, this is my dual band TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. So first I will show you how to reset as you can see here you will find some indications power signal 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz this is my dual band Wi-Fi extender here you will find one LAN port and one reset button as you can see reset so first we have to reset the old configuration from this for that you just need to enter any sharp object in this reset hole take any sharp object like pen or any sim ejector tool and you have to hold it for at least 5 to 10 seconds from here First you have to insert this to your power socket and here you can see all indications will start blinking. Now you have to insert this sharp object in this reset hole and hold it at least for 5 to 10 seconds. After when all lights start blinking then you have to remove that sharp object your pen or sim ejector tool then keep it as, as, as it is now, now we will move to your desktop or laptop After coming to your laptop you just need to click on this internet option you can see here below click on this then click on this arrow mark here you will find your TP-Link extender you can see this is my TP-Link extender click on this then click on connect because already we have resetted this TP-Link extender so will not ask for the password as you can see it has connected so it is showing for disconnect means it has connected but there is no internet so we have to configure this TP-Link extender so first if you have, you have to open your browser you can see you have to wait for some time it's loading here sometimes the co configuration page will be open automatically in your browser if this doesn't open you can see here it's not opening the configuration page again you have to go to this internet option click on this arrow mark select your TP-Link extender here you will find I button you have to click on this I button then it will be entered in your TP-Link extender settings scroll down here you will find IPv4 DNS server you have to copy this IP address 192.168.0.254 this is a common TP-Link extender configuration website just copy this one and close this window come to your browser and paste it here then hit enter the TP-Link configuration page will be opened then you have to create the password 
for your TP Link login page. You can create whatever you want as per your choice. After creating the password, if you want to confirm the password, you can see your I button. Just click on this. You will see the your password. Just click on login. Now we have logged in TP-Link page. Here you will find your main Wi-Fi routers. You can see these are the two Wi-Fi routers. So I will connect this Wi-Fi. You have to enter your main Wi-Fi router password. After entering your Wi-Fi password, just click on next. If you want to add your 5 GHz, you can add here. You can see no entries in this table. You can just skip this page. You have to re-verify and recheck your extender. You can see. Just click on confirm. You can rename your extender from here. Whatever you want as per your choice. Rename it as new extender. If you want to rename this this is my 2.4 gigahertz and this is my 5 gigahertz. This is my dual band extender. So it's showing two Wi-Fi's, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. The password will be same. And if you want to rename this also, you can rename it as this is my 2.4 and this is 5 gigahertz. Just click on next. You have to make sure that your extender is nearby, not nearby, at least it should cover your Wi-Fi range. Just click OK. Just click this one, then click on finish. Then again, you have to click on this internet option, click on this. You can see this is my new extender password new extender name which we have, I have created then click on connect then enter your password I have kept my same main Wi-Fi password click on next if you want to change your new extender password you can rename where you have changed your extender name you can see it has connected successfully. So I will browse any website and make sure it is working. You can see it's working. That's it guys. So in this way you can reset and configure your TP-Link extender. Thanks for watching. Hope if you like this video please like share and don't forget to subscribe.